Alright guys, so for supplies for this project, I'm going to link everything in the description box below just so you can see the list right there. So first I'm going to start off by opening my leather sheet and I am going to fold it up and distress it because I like it to be a little old and rustic looking so that adds to the texture. Now I'm just going to be folding the book in half, well the sheet in half to make the book. We're going to make five markings on it, so two on the top, one in the middle and two at the bottom. Now I'm just taking my scissor and just creating holes in the markings. So now I'm going to take my black suede cord and I'm going to fold it in half and put it through the middle hole from the inside so it comes out from the cover. Now I'm just going to wrap the cord around to see the desired way I would want it to fold over the book and I'm just going to leave that the way it is. And I'm going to take the strings that are in the middle, put them through the second hole and out from behind through the first hole. Yep, so it gives it that stitched look. Now I'm going to take the other string and do the same thing at the bottom. In from the second hole, out from behind through the first hole. Now I'm just going to put that to the side and I'm going to teach you guys how to make the pages that we're going to be putting inside the journal. For the first signature, I'm taking six pages and putting it in the book to see how they would look. And I'm just going to trace it around, make straight lines with my ruler. But the way I'm going to cut it is going to be a rough cut because I don't want my book to look perfect. So the pages are also going to be a little rough. And I'm going to make three of these, three signatures. Now I'm just stapling the six pages together. I put an eraser at the bottom. And I'm taking my stapler and uh, just stapling them together. I did two staples on the top, one in the middle and two at the bottom. Just remember to put an eraser at the bottom every single time Every single time you staple. I made three of these books. So that's uh, 18 pages in total. And I'm going to burn each of them just from the edges so it gives it that old look. Now I'm going to take my three signatures and... By the way, I have no idea what I'm doing here, so please just ignore that. Okay. Now I'm just cutting the strings and tying them up after putting in the signature, first signature in the middle. Now I'm going to take the second book and tie it up from the middle. After tying it up, I'm going to take the third one and slide it through the string from the second book so they both are joined from one string and we're going to push them back from behind the first book that we created. And the good thing about these pages but by making them like that is you can, once it fills up, you can take them out and make, uh, make new pages so you don't waste the cover. Now I'm just going to wrap it around and we're done. I'm going to make another book using the same exact method as I did the first, but this is not. This is with um, felt paper. This is not leather. For all you people that don't want to use leather, I did the same exact process for the second book. And we're done. 